Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Uh, this video is going to be about how to set up your Linksys EA 9500 router. Uh, yes, there will be a video review for Forza Horizon 3 that's coming later, okay? But for right now, I want you guys to see this setup and how to do it. If you never set up a router, it's really not that difficult. It's really not that complex once you understand the basics. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to break it down into basics. All right. So before you do anything, forget about this, what you're seeing on the screen. Just X this out for now. Cross this out. Forget about this for now. This is the first thing I need you to focus on. When you open your box, there's this booklet. Don't throw this booklet away. I know that a lot of you guys like to throw stuff away, but keep this one. This is very important. Inside this booklet, they're going to give you the... Uh, HTTP address for you to type it in. The address, it's in numbers, okay? It's about, you know, uh, I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dashes, eight numbers you have to type in, okay? I'm not going to tell you what those numbers are, but it'll show up on your booklet here, okay? So you want to make sure that you first and foremost type in that address when you connect your router. All right, so this is basically how you connect your router, okay? There's the Ethernet port right here, the main one. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. It could be any of these plugs right here, all right? You plug them in, and that's it. Any of those four. Now, once you have done that, once you have that uh, done, once you have your uh, router connected to the Xfinity or AT&T modem, doesn't matter, whichever modem you have, Time Warner, doesn't matter. Once you have done that, then you want to make sure that your laptop has some sort of an internet feed. Now, obviously, you cannot connect to Wi-Fi because you dis disconnected your router, okay, and there's no router to be bridged. So what you want to do in this case, in my case, because I bridged my previous router, I use the uh, Ethernet, uh, one of the Ethernet ports and connected them to my laptop here. Okay, so that way I can have some access to the Internet. All right. Now, once you've done that, then you go ahead and use this Linksys uh, Quick Start Guide. On this Linksys quick start guide there's two things you have a address i told you that you have to type in on your browser and that address contains a bunch of numbers total of eight numbers you have to type in those numbers and the address will show up for you to get to Linksys smart wi-fi setup okay it's gonna be something like you know uh three numbers comma, and then another three numbers, comma, and then another two numbers, and comma, and comma. And then you go ahead and type those numbers, and then they'll get you to right here, to Linksys Smart Wi-Fi Setup. Now, once you get to the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi Setup, the second thing you want to do is you want to follow these instructions right here. They're right here. It actually tells you what to do. It tells you disconnect the power cord from your modem, the modem is the device you got from your internet service, obviously. Once you disconnect it, this is what we're talking about. This modem right here. You have to disconnect that modem. It could be any of the modems. doesn't matter which provider you have. You have to wait two minutes. Once two minutes is over, you reconnect the power cord back into your modem and wait two more minutes. So it's going to be a total of four minutes process. And once that is done... Then you click next to continue with the setup. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect my modem. All you have to do is just uh, unplug it from the plug right here, which I'm going to show you. All right, so there's the plug right here. So you just unplug it and then wait two minutes. Unplug it, leave the cord out. And you will see that, that the thing, it's not lighting anymore. It's gone. What you see is just my light. So we're going to wait two minutes. 
Now, while you're waiting, you can use a stopwatch or you can use your cell phone, which, uh, you know, right here, and then look at your cell phone and look at, see, uh, the time that you disconnected it and how long it took. So y there's many different methods you can do it, you know, but be prepared. I would say use a stopwatch on your cell phone and count the, um, the seconds and the minutes. It has to be two minutes till it's uh, unplugged. And then once it's uh, two minutes, it's over, then you plug it back in, which we're going to do right now. All right, so it's been the two minutes. So what you want to do is you want to reconnect this. You want to plug this cord into the uh, your modem, whichever modem you have. You plug it in. We want to do it right now. There it is. Plug it in. It's going to light up. And you're going to have to wait another two minutes for the modem to, to process. Okay. Meaning that all these lights has to lit up and all of that has to register. The entire bank right here has to register. Once that is done, then you can continue to the next uh, process here. Click next. But you first have to wait for this thing to boot up. This entire thing has to lit up. Okay, all of this has to register. What this is, What's going on right now, this router, uh, this modem, it's resetting and it's connecting via setup of Linksys right here. So they can bridge and communicate. <clears throat> In other words, that's what that is. So we're going to wait two more minutes. And then we're going to continue. But remember, warning. Do not continue unless you see all of these lit up. All of them have to lit up, okay? You got to wait. Uh, you know, I don't care. It might, it might take longer. It might take three minutes, four minutes. doesn't matter. But you got to wait till this is lit up. The entire thing. I mean, all of these have to work. You see how slowly they're all coming back. You see this one coming back. All right. I want to do this video uh, in basic terms. I, I want to do it, break it down step by step. So that way, you know, uh, in basic terms, what you have to do. It's really not that difficult, as you will see. It might seem a difficult if you've never done it before. But once you understand how it works... Uh, and because the setup process, it's similar for all of these routers and modems. Okay. It's pretty much the same, uh, process. doesn't matter which router you get. You pretty much have to go to the same process. You see, it might take longer than two minutes. So ignore that thing that says right here, two minutes. What you need to do is you need to, uh, wait for this thing to, uh, lit up. Just make sure that your modem, it's lit up, that everything is working in its uh, default state, that everything is there. Once everything is lit up here, as I said, then you can continue with the setup. Do not continue with the setup unless all of these are lit up, okay? I'm doing this video for <clears throat> the people who never done this before. I'm not doing this video for people who have done it a gazillion times. Just so we clear, I'm doing this for people who never done it. So that's why I'm explaining this. So don't be hating. <laughs> All right, now we got some more popping up, so that's good. All right. Now we got 2.4 gigahertz and uh we got 5 gigahertz, so that's the uh that's good, meaning that they're communicating right now. So pretty much we got everything lit up here. You see it says it's online. All right, right here. I don't know if, if you guys can see it or not. You see it says it's online. Online, 2 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, telephone 1. So everything is pretty much back online. This means we're good to go. And we can go ahead. We can continue with the setup. All right. So we got to make sure that your modem is lit up, that everything's back to normal. All right. Once that is done, once everything gets lit up, then you're good to go with the setup right here. Now you can continue next. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, continue next. Right here. Let's click on that. It says, please wait. Now it's getting update information for your router. 
updates your router, install future uh, router updates. It's very important that you keep this marked. This is the uh, future automatic firmware updates and this is something you want to check mark so in the future your router stays up to date, you don't have any hiccups, you don't have any problems. So keep this checked automatic. And then proceed to next. Now here, this is the first time you start. Now, don't worry about this password, all right? I'm already going to use this password, so you guys won't be able to use it. But when you first start to personalize your network, uh, you're going to have to type in the password that was provided to you. Once you use this password that was provided to you the first time, then you can change it and you can have a different type of password. Remember, you only use this password for the setup. Okay, this is a one time only just to set up your uh, router. Once you have done that, once you have used this password first time around, then you can change this password for whatever custom likeness of your preference to be used. All right, so make sure you type this password in. I'm not going to show it to you right now, but you type it in. It came in on your booklet. You click next, and then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and acknowledge different passwords, custom passwords for your uh, Linksys uh, networks. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so the next thing is you want to click next. And now it's updating the wireless settings, all right? Sorry about the light. Uh, the reason I'm using this light so you guys can see it better. It's not like your state-of-the-art uh, video. Of, you know, I don't, I'm not about fancy stuff. I'm about just giving you guys the, the, the tips and the troubleshoot. Because that's why you want to see this video. You came and searched for this video to see how to do this, how to set up your router okay you're not here for a fancy cameras moving around and all that nonsense you're here just to help you set up your router so it's updating right now so we're going to skip through this i'm going to pause the video and we'll come back once it's done so you have to wait for these updates to be done and then i'm going to show you that uh, final approach final setup process on how to uh finish your router to be done for use. Oh, here we go. So you see right here, now it's giving you a option for a new password. So the one that came in with this, uh, with this uh, brochure, this is only for you to uh, set up your router. You use that password just to set up your router. That's it. Now you get to create your own password. Okay. And this password that you create will be used for all of your uh, Linksys networks. So whether it's a 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, doesn't matter. This password that you put in, whatever the password is, will be used for all of your networks around the house. All right. And uh, that's what you want to do. And it's also a good idea to leave a password hint so you know what it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my password and uh, we'll finish this. Now, obviously, once that is done, it's going to tell you your router is set up. And then down below is going to show up the information of your password and everything. Obviously, I'm not going to show you that. It's confidential. But this is when you finish. This is what's going to show up. Say your router is set up. Okay. You want to review your password. You want to make sure that you write your password down so you don't forget it. It's something that you can remember. You can also use a hint for your password so you can remember. But I highly acknowledge uh, and recommend that you uh, write it down somewhere so you don't forget it. Once that is done, uh, then you click Next. Now, before you continue, there's also uh, an app called uh, Smart Wi-Fi uh, Linksys. This is something I recommend you do because uh, you can use your phone and the uh, Linksys Smart Wi-Fi app for you to control your Linksys to see if it's working properly. So I highly recommend that you register. It's free. You should definitely register so that way you can keep track of your Linksys. 
your router to see what's going on, if there's any issues, problems. So I definitely recommend that you go ahead and do this. I highly recommend you do this because you're going to you're gonna regret not doing it, believe me. It's a really simple setup, you know, it's, it's, it's free to register, you just go ahead, put your first, last, your email, and confirm email, and put a password, a new password, the same password, just to confirm the password, so, first, last, email, confirm email, and your password, and you just confirm the password here at the bottom, and you're good to go, and then you can download the app on your phone, and you can check out your activities, to what's going on with your links. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and you do this because uh, you're going to regret not doing it. If something goes wrong, you'll be able to monitor your links to see what's going on, you know, whether your router is wrong or not working or whether something wrong with your modem. So definitely get this uh, registered and it's free and it doesn't cost you anything. It's only going to help you in the long run. Now, the one thing we'll ask you when you register is for you to confirm the email and once you confirm the email, then it's going to send you back here to this link. You sign in and you're good to go. That simple. And here you are. Once you're done, you have this entire uh, menu. Uh, you can check everything. Obviously, I'm not going to show you, uh, you know, what my uh, uh, password is and all that. But uh, it's definitely, you have a bunch of uh, options here where you can uh, even set up parental controls so you can control where your kids go and what they watch. So you have plenty of uh, stuff for you to check here. You can even connect your external storage and use it to stream, you know, the movies, kind of like a cloud storage. You can go in and, you know, click on your storage and you can stream it to any device, which is pretty cool. You can check your speed, and, and I'll do this in some other time, show you guys how to, like, you know, uh, use all of this stuff and how to check things. But this is really good because you can really monitor, uh, it's like a doctor, you can monitor your activities on your uh, links. okay? You can also do this through your app on your phone, okay? You can go and download the app and do it through phone as well. So that's pretty much it, you know, once you have all of that done, once you have that setup done, and once you register with the Linksys, which I highly recommend you do, then you can check right here, you see you got the uh, 1.5 gigahertz, which is the one I would recommend, you got the uh, Linksys 00941, you got the one that's guest, that's for your guest, you do have a specific password for the guests that's on there, you can also check your password for the guest by going to your... Uh, Wi Fi uh, links is uh, web page that you registered. So that's pretty much it, though. Uh, you pretty much all set here. You're good to go. It's a very simple few steps. Okay, it might take you about 20 minutes, but uh, it's really not that difficult. And this same method is used pretty much on all of the uh, router devices. Uh, it doesn't matter which brand you get. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and uh, hopefully it was informative. I will do Forza Horizon 3 uh, later on. I'm going to do a review on it with my GoPro Hero 5 camera. So I only wanted to do this because I did the unboxing, and I thought maybe for some of you who have never done this before, uh, you might want to look into this video. I made this video for those of you who have never done it and would like to know how to do this. Hopefully, uh, this was informative. I tried to make it as simple, break it down to a simple uh, ways of doing it so that way you don't get confused. If I miss something here and if you guys are still confused about it, please do ask me down on the comment section. I'll answer any questions. Okay. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is the setup. Uh, took about 20 minutes, uh, really easy, not that difficult, so, this is Mr. 4K Upscaler out, I'm going to see you guys on my next video, uh, long awaited video, Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 3 will be tested on both televisions, uh, Sony X900E and Samsung KSA 1000, alright, we'll compare them both, thank you, thank you for watching.